Let's make some fall inspired bookmarks. For this DIY, I'm using some rub on transfers from Dollar Tree as well as a drop cloth from Harbor Freight. After washing and drying the drop cloth, I made a small cut and ripped the drop cloth into strips. I applied the rub on transfers as directed. to hit record as I did this next part but using some small grommets and a grommet tool I made a hole in the drop cloth and then inserted the grommet. Once you've done that you take the hammer and hammer out the back of it flat. This way we have a place to put our ribbon for the bookmark. So this is what it looks like once you do have it inserted into your bookmark. I used a variety of items to add to my bookmark. I used raffia on one, ribbon on one, and twine on one. The next project is going to be a drop cloth planter. First, I cut my drop cloth to my desired size. I folded the drop cloth in half and folded down the top edge on both sides. I'm going to use a stamp I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby as well as some of the clear stamps from Dollar Tree. Once I have the stamps like I want them, I use hot glue to glue the sides of the bag. Going to make a pocket at the top so that I can insert a drawstring. So I am only gluing along the edge of that cuff and leaving the sides open. I'm using Dollar Tree's macrame cord to insert in the pocket along the top to make my drawstring. Here's my cute little drawstring bag. Inserted a vase filled with fall floral to display here.
And here's a look at the floral just in the bag hanging on a peg shelf. My third project is drop cloth pumpkin bowl fillers. Printed out a pumpkin pattern and then used that pattern to cut out two pumpkin shapes from the drop cloth. And I did this three times. Once I had all my pumpkins cut out, I took a pin and frayed the edges of each of the pumpkins. pumpkin stems I chose to use two different belts as well as a piece of rope. Cut them to my desired length and then I hot glued them to one side of the pumpkin pattern. stems glued in, I glued around the edges of the pumpkin, leaving the bottom open. Once those were finished, I used some pillow stuffing to stuff each of the pumpkins and then hot glued the bottom closed. Cute as these little pumpkins are, I decided they needed something to make them a little, look a little more dimensional. So I cut out an oval shape from the drop cloth and frayed those edges and then glued that to the middle of each pumpkin. Next, I made a simple bow for each pumpkin.
are a couple of different ways that I styled them. Check number four is a burlap covered clipboard. For this project, I'm using a mini clipboard and again my drop cloth as well as a printable that I just printed from my computer and a messy bow. Here I'm just tracing around the clip part of the clipboard in order to cut out that burlap to fit better. I printed this bringing in the sheaves sheet music from Graphics Fairy and then I added the wheat clip art on top of the music and printed it out. I never actually used any hot glue on this project at all. I clipped everything up under the clipboard clip, so that way I can change it out for the seasons. That's it for today. Here on The Chic Show, I create my own joy and I hope you do too. Remember, share the chic. Bye now.